Today I'm going to learn how to create a particle limiter and how to add gravity with simulation nodes. So let's do it. Let's do the camera, the light, go to the empty nodes, create a new profile like this, and let's use simulation job because we want to play with simulation nodes. Let's create this here and let's open this to make space, room. And what we want is to create the simplest particle emitter. So first of all, let's use points. And now what we want is to add these points in the middle of this process to create more points. So let's use join geometry. Let's create here and let's connect points to join geometry. So now if we press play, we don't see anything special. One single point. However, what is happening is that if we open a new tab and we select a spreadsheet, we can see that we have more than one single point. Actually, right now we have 86 points in the frame 86. So if we press play, as you can see, every frame is adding more and more points. However, the problem that we have is that all the points are in the same position. Okay. So what we have to do is to create a vector and to say to these points, hey, can you use this vector information to follow the vector to move? Okay, so to do this, let's start again. And let's go here. And let's start with the vector one. So let's use a store name attribute and connect it here before join geometry. So what I want is to spread all these points that are together in different directions, in random directions. So I'm going to select vector because we are going to create a vector. And here I'm going to use random value. I'm going to move it here. And what I want is to spread all these points in all directions. So in minimum, I'm going to select minus one. And this, I'm going to let it like that because I want to cover all the directions. And let's give a name to this new vector. So let's call it, for example, velocity. You can call it velocity, directions, whatever you want. And also I'm going to give a name to this, for example, vector one, because it's the first vector that we're creating. And let's call it initial velocity because it's the velocity that we start with this point. However, if we press play now, nothing happens because we created a vector. We are storing this vector, but we are not using this vector in the middle of this process. So to use this information, this vector, we need to use set position. And here to use this, what we can do is to use name attribute because we created an attribute. So let's select this name, velocity, and let's connect it here in the set position. And now, if we press play, let's see what is happening. As you can see, all the points are moving in this direction, in a random direction, but only in one random direction. Why? Because we have all the time the same seed. So it's not changing. So to change this, what we have to do is to connect here at the same time in frame. So with this node, every frame will have a different seed. So it's going to create a different vector for every new point. So now, if we press play, we have a particle emitter. Perfect. We have the vector one with initial velocity that we are using here in set position. Now, how we can add a gravity to these points with this movement? So to do this, what we have to do is to add a new vector to this velocity. So let's move this. And let's use again a store name attribute. Let's reduce this velocity. However, what we want is to add a new modification to add a new vector. So let's select vector. And for example, if I select something like this, now what is going to happen is that all the motion of the points is going there, as you can see. because we are not reusing this information. So what we have to do is to make a copy of this to reuse this information. However, if now we press play, it's like reusing this information. So it's the same, right? Because the important vector is here. So what we have to do is to add something new here in the middle of this process, of the process of this vector. So let's use vector math and add it 
in the middle of this process. So this new vector will be the gravity, will be a new vector that we are adding with this vector. So right now we have zero, but if I make this negative, as you can see, we start creating gravity. By the way, I'm going to move the initial position right here, just setting, for example, five. And now I'm going to press play so you can see better. So with this, you can add more gravity or less. I'm going to make it higher, stronger, as you can see. Or I can make it more and more, for example, something like this, more slow or with less gravity. Or also what you can do is to make it up, as you can see. By the way, I'm going to make the points bigger, just adding here, set point radius. So if I come back here and I make this a little bigger, we can see better these points. Perfect. So this will be the gravity. Let's call it vector2 because it's a new vector, and let's call it gravity. So you can see the difference between vector1, that is this random velocity in all directions, and then we created a vector2, that is the gravity, and we are adding in the original vector. So this vector is being reused thanks to this every frame, so it's increasing its velocity. So let's select something negative, for example, something like this. And if you want, for example, to increase the initial velocity, what you can do is in the middle of these two nodes to add a vector math and select a scale. So thanks to this new scale that we add, we can control how strong is this vector. So we can make it less and less strong, as you can see, or more strong. can make it really, really strong. So the initial force, as you can see, is stronger. All the particles start with a random initial velocity and then they fall. So this is like a control to make it stronger or weaker. I'm going to select something like this. And if you want to slow down this velocity, the gravity, you can do it like that. For example, minus 0.001. As you can see right now. Or what you can do is to decrease both velocity at the same time. Oh, adding a vector math here. So let's use here vector math and select scale. Like always, scale is to increase or decrease the force of a vector. And with this, we can decrease both vector at the same time because we are using this attribute that we created here but also have this vector so if you want to do like slow motion we can decrease this value and now we have like slow motion as you can see and we can increase this if you want so this vector is stronger than this one i can make it higher, or I can increase this to make it faster, or if I say one in real time. And also what I can do is to decrease this, you can see. So the initial velocity is not so strong. And I can make the gravity stronger, you can see, or up if you want, or up and in one side. So as you can see, it's really easy to create gravity with this simple setup. And later, in set position, using name attribute, we can reuse the vector one and vector two. And here you can play with any value to create gravity. And if you want to add more points, remember, you can increase this number. For example, 10. 
And if you want to learn more about simulation nodes, I recommend you to watch all the other tutorials I have on my channel about simulation nodes. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and remember, you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.